If we move this, that we can see it is actually moving. As we can imagine that our camera would move. So we can just drag our camera out of here or we can leave it in it. So next thing we want to do is create a background. We're going to go on the light thing. Uh, we want to go on background, and we're going to create a new material. New material is basically going to be our picture. We, we're going to turn specular off, load an image, and our image is going to be our cinematic, which was I can't remember where I put it actually. In SCADA does damage folder. So when you're in SCADA does damage, which was going to be my episode, but it got delayed. And we'll want to open our cinematic. Make sure it is the same file. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So we have dragged that in. Hold on, I'll just check something very, very quickly. That's okay. So we have our file as a material now. It has got a bit of lag, it's not showing up on the material, but we can just drag that onto our background. And it'll do this and it'll be a bit awkward, but it should work. So we want to make sure that's on frontal. Then we want to render it and see what it looks like. Which is, doesn't seem to be working for some reason. Let's just try load the cinematic again. What I'm going to do, seeing as the cinematic material isn't loaded and I had this problem before, is I'm going to re-render the file as a different format as I feel that is probably causing the problem. Sorry about the problems in this video guys, I'm back again. Um, I should have planned this tutorial probably better and I will remember to do that in future, but I have found out how what the problem was and basically it recommends that you render out your clips before you use them as a video on Cinema 4D as an ABI file. So basically, I just went into After Effects and rendered it as an ABI. Um, so we want to create our material, load the image, load the file, the video, the ABI file, preferably. Uh, it might work with others. I'm not completely sure. Um, that's it, really. Uh, right. So we want to go. As you should have noticed, our output is already set up correctly with our frame rate and everything. So it got exported, uh, so it's okay. We want to go on best for anti-analyzing. We want to create an ambient occlusion. Now what we're going to do, now that we've got our background all set up and we can render that out and see it, and we can also move it along with our motion track, we want to create a pl pane. So we go on the cube over here, we want to go down to plane. We'll drag this into the center of our screen. Preferably go to the first frame of the project. Or where the motion track is going to start. We rotate it and move it. Make it bigger, maybe. To work with our project. We're just going to flip that the other way up. To allow easy rotation. Now, we want to make sure when we go through it that basically our um, our flooring is roughly looks like it's sticking which we can see is working So it shouldn't look like it's moving. Now what we can do is import our text. So we create our text, we'll drag it down and across. We want to rotate it so it fits with our bit of flooring here. And then we can go to rotate it just so it's above our flooring. Make it a lot bigger as well.
what we should be able to see is that it's sticking in the same position so we've done that now what we need to do if you notice we render this and we're like oh no our floor is screwed up so we also drag our material onto our plane now you may be thinking oh no it's still screwed up it's upside down so we go on plane we've got look, look our material over here and we go frontal now you will be able to notice that there is a slight dark bit around the edge of here and we can get rid of that by going on our plane cinema 4d tags compositing and compositing background now what you may want to do is move your text down until it's right next to that pane plane sorry and we can also increase the minimum ray length of this maximum of that we can get the shadow looking better at the bottom of here so it looks more realistic maybe create a light as well so we can see there that our text is looking good, it might be a bit on the ground but we can make we can make it fit by going on the depth um, now we can see it's a lot better now we can see it it's all blended in so if we go through this now we should be able to see that our text is basically staying stuck to the ground it might look like the layers this plane is moving but it's, the texture of it is not moving if I rendered it out you'd be able to see that it's still working it's still all okay What we also may want to do is add another. So let me see if that works better. Yep, another. We want to make another material for our text. So we can go on here. We can maybe add a specular, a metal specular, or a reflection to reflect off the floor, which we can set to a Fresnel texture. Just little things like that. Can reduce this down a bit. Drag it onto our text. Maybe have it a different colour, like purple. I don't know, it's all about playing and seeing what you like best. So we can see here it is reflecting off the floor. Now I do warn you that you might see that there's just a line there. That's where the flooring ends. So if you want to get rid of that line, you need to make the pane a lot bigger. You can just go like that, you can make it massive. And that'll cancel it out. And you'll notice that this still does work. So it's properly well and truly stuck to the clip itself so there you have it guys remember not to zoom in and out like I've just done never do that um, because unless you untick that because if you don't untick that it's going to change the camera so that's all for this episode guys, for this tutorial guys Thank you for watching it. Um, it really does help out a lot. I want to start kicking this channel off into a proper tutorial and gameplay channel. And Affliction, go check it out if you haven't already checked it out. It's only a minute charge. It's a minute long. Take up a minute every time. And thanks to Dull for I did it. It's funny. So it's very nice. Um, I'm also gonna try get into a big plan, I'm doing the fame recruitment challenge which you'll see on my channel soon. So thanks for watching again guys, I'll see you next time. Scott of peace.